I had said I was gonna update this hardware, so I started pricing out new fixtures in matte black, and they were crazy expensive. So if you notice, they're missing. This is so messy, it's like painful to show you guys. So we took everything off in the bathroom, everything from the tub, from the shower as much as we could, from the sinks, and my husband, who is like the master spray painter, is actually gonna spray it black. Okay, so these are the three products that we used. First, we removed as much hardware as we could. We primed everything with this Rust-Oleum Auto Primer. Once that dried, we did this two times. Once that dried, we did this flat black and did two coats of that. And then this is the lacquer that's worked the best. I wanted a matte finish, so we got something that was matte, and to be honest, it did not work, and we had to go back, spray black again, and then do this high gloss lacquer, and we did this two times as well, so. Okay, so here's his little spray shop going on in here. So these were all chrome, and so you did, what did you put on here first? Primer? Primer. Primer, two coats of primer, and then two coats of matte black spray, and they look pretty darn good. So there have been a few spots like over here where the primer doesn't want to stick good. So that's what he's working on now where the primer is cracking. So he's just sanding it down um, and he's going to recoat it and then spray it again. And hopefully it comes out as pretty as the other ones look. And if you want to know where he got his spray paint skills, it's from the Chevy because the Chevy is spray painted the whole thing. So. My little hardware is really no big deal after you spray painted a, a car. So I am gonna go inside while he's working on this and see if I can't tackle the fireplace for a little while. Stay tuned. So in case any of you decide to rip off your hardware and spray it, just thought I'd show you what's going on outside. So um, Hubs bought like little wood dowels from Home Depot, staked them in the ground, and then this way we could spray the entire knob. And then the overspray is just kind of getting on the ground which we can very easily pick up because this is all just leaves falling so this has worked out really well i think they're coming out awesome i cannot wait to put them back on and have water in the bathroom again i don't know how people go through big remodels this now is in the shower we have a window <laughs> kind of random so i'm taping off the window and we are going to spray this and so we'll make this black because this is not this is fine this will spray up nice and we're going to call it a day in the bathroom just a little show of how much work it is just to paint that tiny window. Look at all this plastic. This took me like two hours to just tape up. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the walls so much because they're getting painted, but the tile I wanna cover. Okay, shower window is painted. And all the hardware was painted in here, so it's just got a cure. Um, I did buy a new shower head because we you can't spray where the water comes out. There's just no way. So we decided to just buy a new shower head. All the insides of the sinks were done. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna hold up. Um, and then, don't mind my swivel here, don't get nauseous on me. Um, we did inside the tub too, which is really hard to tell. There's no light over there, but that was done. Fingers crossed it all lasts. This is the finished hardware. It looks great. My husband did an awesome job on all of this. I definitely could not have done all this without him. He is my spray paint guy. So, so tonight we'll be putting all of this back on. I'm super excited, it really, it came out really nice. Um, I just don't know how long it's gonna hold up before it starts like scratching and nicking. We definitely won't be able to use anything abrasive, like any scratchy sponges or anything like that on it. These are the faucets down here. So it's definitely gonna be a soft cloth situation um, in this house for a while. Maybe Clorox wipes, um, white rags, so that's that. But all of this stuff is ready to go back. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We wanna make sure it's really cured and really dry before we put it back. Um, oh, and these are the hooks that I talked about. I took down my towel bars and I'm gonna put these up in place of where those towel bars